Hi everyone! Welcome to our video. For tonight's video, we are talking about how we met together with Monty. Yes, how we met. So, let's get started. Let's, um, we met on ChristianDatingForFree.com mm -hmm. um, I was on there maybe like three days and there we go. I was there for two days. Yeah, so, we, um, we met there and we started chatting. I was actually looking for a woman 40, 50 years old. And um, then I ran into Erga. We both went to a uh, church called... Um, uh, International Baptist. Yeah, it was an independent Baptist church. I went to an independent Baptist in the U.S. and she did the mm -hmm. same here. Mm -hmm. So that kind of gave us the mm -hmm. thing, you know. Yeah, that connects us together that quick. Yeah. <laughs> so we started chatting and we, uh, I decided that um, after a short while, I'll get put a disclaimer in here that everything people say to do, <clears throat> we did wrong. But yeah. It worked out for them. <laughs> yeah. It depends so, how the process goes. Right. <laughs> so I told her that I would come over and meet her. And she thought I was cra crazy and wasn't yeah, going to show I thought, up. Yeah, I thought he's not going to come here. Mm -hmm. Like, I thought he's just joking, playing games. And uh, so <clears throat> I showed up and um, we spent a month together and we rented a house down mm -hmm. in Washington Beach. And then uh, I had to close out some things in the U.S. before I could stay here for any amount of time. So mm -hmm. I went back to the U.S. for 30 days took care of what I needed to do, came back here. We started the process here in Macomb. We got married in Macomb. Um, we went to the seminar and all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, we got married so quickly. We moved in to each other so quickly. So it just really works. But it worked for us. <laughs> yeah. One it just reason. depends on how you choose the person that you are going to um, leave for your life. Right. And, um, so, Aragel's situation, my situation before we met was, I was married before, and, um, like I, I say all the time, my ex-wife can hear it, I don't care. <laughs> Aragel is much more mature than my ex-wife, who's <clears throat> almost 50. So. Yeah, because... My mom left us since I was like 12 years old and he moved in Mindanao, something um, in the area there but I don't know which exactly, which her location exactly is but yeah. So she's gone and she's never coming back. She's yeah, sold. she never came back, I don't know. Um, she sold the tree in the yard, she, she sold, sold their the cow, cows, sold, sold everything that everything was that was worth anything. Yeah. Except for the land, she couldn't take that because that belongs yeah. to her papa. So, um, then we went through the process, we got married. Um, I came back after the 30 days, and I stayed for one year straight. Mm -hmm. And I uh, spent all my time with, with the Eric at all. And, um, yeah. and so here's our little boss. <laughs> That's our little boss look. <laughs> and um, so then we, uh, down the road we got pregnant. We had our little baby Faith. And I named her after uh, St. Augustine, Florida. There's a place there called uh, Anastasia Island. And that's what I named her. After. And I named her Faith. <laughs> and she put the name Faith. Yeah, so, to... Um, just being Christian, that's a symbolism. Yeah. My for son being her Christian. My son is Monty Christian. Christian. <laughs> so yeah, I, I just that's kind of a thing for us. Um so anyway, Erica was going to that church and she went to the pastor and she told him, Listen, I'm gonna marry uh, a foreign guy from America and he mm -hmm. said absolutely not you are not going to do that I was I was going to go to a Bible school but yeah since I met Monty so it didn't happen I was just planning that 
probably God gave me the other um, like the other opportunity because right. when you dream something and but it's not your will but still and the pastor said well the will of God is not for you to marry that man and she said well I, guess I need to find another pastor so bye but um We've been very happy together. Uh, during that year, um, I ended up having to go back home because my business got kind of messed up. Because I had some guys that I trusted that uh, found out I couldn't trust. Mm -hmm. And I had to leave Airedale at five months pregnant and go back to the U.S. Yeah, I was with my own since months he lived with me. And then after like eight months since I got pregnant, and my brother moved in to me so he could help me um, the chores in the house and everything that I need yeah so he moved up there and helped and then out. after like how many weeks again my sister and niece moved in with me too so they can help with me to um, take care of the baby until I get birth gave her birth like that then um then we, she moved back here yeah. um, to her father's property, and um, I moved I was, back here since like Faith was three months, I think. And uh, so I was stuck in the U.S. for almost three years because of COVID, mm -hmm. so I couldn't come back yeah. until it opened back up. Then I came back, and of course, three days in, I had a stroke. A few days later, heart attack. A few days later, another stroke. And um, just, it's just kind of terrible, terrible, terrible year for us. But it was, yeah. it was a good year too. But I'm alive. Yep. That was a good thing. Amen. And um, that's, <coughs> I get to see my little girl grow up, hopefully. <laughs> and, uh, she's a daddy's girl now, not mommy's uh, girl anymore. Yeah, she loves <laughs> hugging on daddy and loving on me. <laughs> she's, a, she's a little sweetheart, she's a mm. joy. Doing my life. Um, and now we are living like four years together and we're going to turn five years next year. And I, I just wanted to say something about the relationship with, I don't care if you're in the Philippines, America, Thailand, or, mm -hmm. or back in Europe, or wherever. You know if a girl is attracted to you or if she's not. Just for the simple fact, say you go to the mall, does she hold your hand? Does she put her arm around you? Mm -hmm. Does she introduce you to all her friends and family? And real excited to be with you and, and very loving and kind? Or is she standoffish? Mm -hmm. She's not introducing anybody. She kind of walks to the side a little bit. Only, <clears throat> only hugs or loves on you maybe in, in private, but not in public. Um, ergo, she loved on me, she told all of her friends about me. Whenever we went somewhere and we ran into one of her classmates or a friend or family member, this is Monty, this is my husband. You know, and I'm very, very excited. And so, you know, it's just common sense. And um, I know the trolls on here have already been saying stuff about money and this and that. Yeah. I, I want to nip that in the bud right now. When I was in the USA, um, before I came over to meet Erica, she never asked me for a boat for her phone, or food, or money of any kind. I did send some, and guess what? She got mad at me for sending the money. She <laughs> said she didn't want it. She wasn't after my yeah, money. Yeah, it was like a lot. She wasn't after my money. And when I did get here, we went to the mall. I tried to buy her a dress that I liked. It was like $30. She said, absolutely not. I can buy that in a thrift store, which is Oak Eye Oak Eye store here, for, you know, Love two or three dollars. Okay. I'm just not gonna do it. So, you know, then when I got here, she's, to this day, she's never asked me for a dime. She never asked me for money at all. And we don't really spend that much money except for for this little thing. Uh, yeah. This little thing is very expensive. Plus, mommy likes to give her all the things <laughs> that mommy didn't have when she was little. Yeah. So, 
we, we have a decent little life here. We don't. We. Yeah, I, we are just we are just an average people that live every day. And we're happy together. Yeah. We love each other. Um, I sent the money a little at a time during the three mm -hmm. years, um, and we built. Um, yeah, we slowly built our own house in my father's right. property, and then yeah, and we live it here together now. Yeah. And we are happy for it because we're not paying a monthly rent for it. Yeah, before we were only paying yeah. 200 a month, but now the property is renting for like 500 a month. Yeah. So things change pretty quickly. The more expats <laughs> move here in this area, the more it drives the price of the rent. So. Exactly. Um, so we'll get back to us, us getting in our, our relationship. Um, I wasn't scared because Aragon and me just, we clicked and yep. everything just fell into place and to this day we, we've had a few arguments but nothing serious. It's, um, it's always been, you know, we just sit down and talk about things. Mm -hmm. She's not into all that, um, What's it called? Tampo. Tampo. Yeah. <laughs> she did it one time to me up in, in Valencia when we lived up there. I wasn't having that crap. I was like, we need to sit down and talk. There's stuff about locking yourself in the room and all that stuff. And let me tell you, there, there's all these little things that you have to learn with your Filipino. Maybe not all I like, but some of mine is not. A lot of ours has been like, we're at the doctor's office. She's got to go get prescriptions. I give her some cash. Big mistake. Do not give your Filipino money in front of others. They do not like it. It makes it look like they're trying to get money out of you or something. So actually, that day that he gave me that cash it was like we are in public and we are in the clinic and a lot right. of people were staring at us because we sit in front for them right. so we so he gave he handed me that cash and it felt like i was like um so um low with myself because i think people were staring people they really stare with us and they, i think they think that um how oh, this girl just um, Gold digger. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we you just have to be careful what you do. Um, I went in the store with her one time in the Robinson with her buying groceries. And I still remember that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't forget. <laughs> she got she got like two different kinds of pancake mix. And I'm like, why'd you do that for you? And she goes, I just wanted both of them. I said, Well that's a little greedy. Oh Lord. She didn't say nothing to me then, but boy, I caught it on later. She had the tempo, she locked the door, she was crying. I was like, what did I do? I was just joking around, but you gotta be careful. But I've learned my lessons in most of it. She's, she's, a, she's such a sweetheart, and you guys will never know that she can be kind of mean sometimes. <laughs> but she's very sweet to me. Um, has taken care of me, you know, after I got sick and, and stuff. And her and Faith are what keep me going. I mean, yeah, they really are. She, but Aragel's always been a great woman ever since I met her. My family, my kids love her. Um, you know, there's never been any issues between them. And uh, we're just a happy little family here, so we yeah. thought we'd share that what we did and what we did wrong, but <laughs> we did it anyway, and it's worked out very well. And, yeah, so. It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. People will get upset about it, and, oh my God, well, here's the age gap, why are you with that old grandpa, oh, yeah. and what's this, and what's that? I don't care if you don't care. <laughs> you know what? Age all really the, doesn't matter. All those nasty comments only makes our channel grow, so. <laughs> keep on going, keep leaving them, we don't care. And um, hopefully uh, we'll make some good content for you guys and, and keep you interested in coming back. And thank you for watching. Thank you for, for subscribing and uh, supporting us. I really appreciate that. We both can.
Yeah, we do. Thank you so much, guys. It was really a big help for us and help us grow our channel to get to be more better and a lot of subscribers. <laughs> oh, so leave those comments down below. If there's a video you'd like for us to um, make. One yeah. of the guys mentioned yeah. that. Uh, he saw the video of the multi-cab, but I didn't give him like a tour of where the tire is and where the jack is and where the this and that. So I'm going to be doing that soon and sharing that with you guys. And uh, so if there's anything like that you'd like to see, I believe we're going to do a house tour soon. Yeah, soon. It's not a big house. It's not really soon. a big house. It's, it's like a, it's a 20 by 20 room and it has a good size CR. <laughs> We're going to add on as life goes on, but this is ours to start with now. Yep. And anyway, you all have a great day. Great night. Great night. Great afternoon, <laughs> wherever you are. And uh, thanks again for watching. Thank you so much. Bye. See you Bye. to our next video.